it comes to spot and stock hunting, I love going after mule deer. And one of my favorite places to go after mule deer year after year, well, that's gotta be Nebraska. Number one, because they have giant mule deer. But the second reason, I absolutely <laughs> love the people I get to hunt with there. Deer Meadows separates itself from other outfits as, uh, you know, we live out here. And the, the guides that we use to hunt out here have been here and hunting for years. Uh, they're not just flown in, they're not brought in for one week out of the year. They're here, you know, year round. They know the area, they know the terrain, they know if they leave one area, they go to another. And that's what really makes it successful is the knowledge of the guides. And, you know, that's what really separates us from other outfitters. We just arrived out here in Nebraska and, well, things look a little bit different. Usually I'm out here for rifle season. This year I'm out here actually earlier. It's just the beginning of October and we're gonna go out after these mule deer with a bow. So we just got into camp, gonna shoot my bow. We're gonna head out this afternoon. We were actually planning on coming this morning, but we've been up in the Yukon and just got back. So took a little break this morning. We're out here now. Should be an awesome hunt. I'm really looking forward to it. A lot cooler temperatures than they're used to, but Hopefully it'll just make it nice for us stocking. No wind right now, so we should be all set. Well, that was three shots at 50, 40, 20. Everything looks good, so I think we'll be set now as long as I can keep my nerves under control. Bow's shooting good, we should be, we should be in good shape. So when I say I'm hunting an area that has big mule deer, I can't explain just how big the muleys are in the sand hills. It's absolutely incredible. In fact, over the years since I've been out there hunting, I can't tell you how many deer right around that 200 inch mark have been taken and they're all right there. Most people are the, you know, they'll advertise 140 to 180 inch range. 180 is where we start. We start 180, go up from there. So, you know, that's what sets us apart. It's the first morning out here in Nebraska. We're at Deer Meadows Outfitters, and we have got an absolutely beautiful buck spotted. We've got him in the spotting scope right now. He's quite a ways off. And Jeremy and Scott said that they've been seeing him. He's been going over the hill, dropping down into this really big ravine on the other side. Makes it tough for bow hunting, but right now they're just up feeding. We've got good activity. It's nice and cool out here, a little bit of wind. Can't wait to try to figure out how to do a stock on this animal, but um, until then, we're just gonna watch him through the spotting scope, see what he does, and well, sit back and look at how nice he is. <laughs> Now this year we were going to be hunting a little different area because how it works in Nebraska is Scott has specific areas set aside just for archery and then separate areas for rifle. The good news is you get two tags. So I didn't have to decide, well, I'm going to give up my rifle tag to come here. Not a chance. I got to take two bucks this year and I was so excited that Scott had extended the offer and said, hey, why don't you come out for archery hunting? The unique tag system in Nebraska not only is it over the counter, but you can get two tags. So you can get one for archery and one for rifle or two for archery or two for rifle. You know, whatever, you know, the time frame the hunter wants to work with and the low numbers in camp, you get to hunt 200,000 acres, you know, all by yourself. Well, the good news and the bad news is that hillside is full of deer. But the buck we were looking at, the real wide one, he laid down in a bad spot. There's deer all around him, just not a good place to stalk and he laid down. So we're gonna head out of here, look at some other deer. We thought he was gonna probably go over. Didn't happen today, so it's supposed to be, I think, in the 70s, so maybe they'll move a little bit once the sun comes out. Right now, it's really cloudy. So we're gonna try something else and see how that works. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know that Florida ranks first in number of sportsmen and anglers with 3.15 million that spend 5.9 billion a year supporting over 94,000 jobs? Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. Oh, we 
just got done doing a stock through these hills. We got to the end of this. They weren't in the bowl where we were thinking. We glassed across, and there's a really nice buck all the way across there. So we're just going to sit here. Jeremy just said oh, they came. You should look at that one. That one I might be bigger. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a really, really, really big deer. On the skyline. Never seen that. Now there's before. two big deer over there. There's one right on the skyline, one down below. There's bucks all over there, but they are really, really nice bucks. Oh. We got a new player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have become one of my favorite species to go after and I think part of that comes down to the fact that I've got such good places to go. Anytime you can go after big bucks and see a plentiful supply of them, well you'd love it too. And a lot of people don't think of a place like the Nebraska Sandhills to be a premier destination for mule deer, but it truly is. It is if you can get to a place that's managed correctly. Our management program is year-round. Uh, we protein year-round. We uh, run cameras year-round. You know, a lot of people uh, will bait or whatever where we don't. We supplement year-round to enhance the antler growth, but also we build the doe herd as the does are, you know, equally as important as what the bucks are for trophy bucks. They're out every day putting out cameras, checking on the deer, watching what they're doing. So when you come in, these deer are patterned out, they know where things are at. Now that doesn't mean it's all gonna work out when you hunt them, but what it does mean is that the deer are there and now it comes down to your decisions and your hunting skills to get it done. Here. That's what we've been trying to see all week. That? That's what I've been trying to see all week. He's hard to see because he's so dark horn. Yeah, he is really dark. He's a nice looking buck. Yeah. Well, the good news is there's bucks over there, bucks over there, just no bucks where we were. <laughs> Small problem. It's just getting dark this evening. It's not even sunset yet, but we've had just such foggy conditions. We've seen a ton of bucks tonight. I think we ended up seeing 11 different deer. Two huge bucks way off on the other side. We had one kind of ugly one in close, and now we just saw another three bucks. One's a really heavy buck that they've been looking for. We're gonna try to maybe make a plan on him in the morning, but it's just awesome to be out here to see that many deer from one location. We got to a high point, definitely paid off. We we didn't get a stock in, but it was a lot of fun to watch. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Cutting Back Digital. More deer, fewer blanks. Hard hitting Eastern Arrows. Golden Triangle Whitetail. Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV, UTV accessories. spotted two bucks one of them looked really nice they're starting to head over the edge so we actually went all the way around now we're down below and we're going to try to get up over the top and try to get on them we've got the sun at our back we've got a really good wind here we're not exactly sure where he's bedded but i guess there's only one way to find out we could not spot him out there so we're going to go up and try to make a stock when you're going 
even after Mule Deer, you've got to be pretty stealthy. And we had a big group of people. But what helps? Everyone's a hunter. My cameraman's a hunter. Jeremy's a great hunter. Scott, myself, I knew that if you're going to get this many people into archery range, well, these were the right people to do it. We've got four bucks bedded on a hillside. We can see them right now. They're facing us, but they're right in the sun, so we're going to go around and try to come up on the back side. We don't have a good wind to come in completely behind them, but if we come on the other side, I think we'll be good. It's awesome to see. One of the challenges that we were going to be facing on this trip, and it comes with any early season archery hunt when you're going after muleys, is the fact that these big bucks are bunched up and they're in bachelor groups. Now, it's wonderful because you get to see them all up close and you get to pick out the biggest buck, but the hard part is getting in close on that many eyes. Those big bucks, they're not dumb. They always make friends with some little buck and make him sit up higher to watch out while they bed down below and just go to bed. I guess it seems like a pretty good idea, but that's what usually happens. When you're hunting during archery season, there's usually two or three or four or five all together in a group. So. When they're bedding down, they're all spread out in different spots and looking different directions. So you're not just going against your target buck, you gotta work around those too. So it can be a, a real challenge, but it's fun seeing a lot of deer and you see a lot of bucks, so that makes it really fun. Well, we've been circling all the way around them and there's five bucks in there. The trouble is, there's just nowhere else we can go. We can maybe try to get over the top. Our wind might blow over them, but we still aren't gonna have a shot. And anywhere else, they've literally got bucks looking in every direction. The last thing we want to do is end up busting them out, so we know where they're at. We're going to go down, hopefully come back up, find them, and then make a plan this evening. The quality of the deer is great. There's a lot of great genetics, and uh, we're shooting a lot of good deer, so when you come out, you need to expect to have to pass on a few and hold out for the one you're looking for. Well, we got back in this afternoon. It's a little after three. We're heading back into where we saw those deer last. We don't know if they stayed there. We're just gonna ease our way, just look over each peak around each ridge to find where they are. Once we see them, our plan is we have a good idea of where they're going. We're gonna try to set up to intercept them and wait for them to come by us. There's just too many deer to get in close. So that's gonna be our plan. Not sure if it'll work, but we're gonna give it a try. the deal sometimes it just doesn't work out but we were in close if we could have spotted them two seconds earlier we'd have probably had them but that's spot and stock hunting for you memory chase building our future one child at a time Memory Chase is all about getting more kids involved and features hunts from viewers just like you. This week, we're going to Kentucky with Ryan Widmeyer. So what day is it? Uh, it's October 9th, yeah. And where are we going? We're going to premiere outfit of this mark. Yeah. For what? <laughs> White tail. Are you excited? Yeah. Absolutely. Which shot was Daddy's? Okay, and which shot was Ryan's? <laughs> Right 
right on his shoulder. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. Oh my god. Dad. Oh my god. You got him, buddy. Dude, I love you. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Mr. Howe said he was gonna sit up there on a hill and watch you shoot your book. Yes. Wow. Holy smokes, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look how fat he is. Oh my god, Ryan. Was that not unbelievable? Oh unbelievable. So shaking. Good for you. If you or someone you know has youth hunting footage that they'd like to share, we'd love to feature their hunt. So a chance to see your kids on TV, a new mission bow, plus tons of other great prizes for each weekly winner, why not enter today? Memory Chase, building our future one child at a time. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Matthews Archery, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com, download the free ScoutLook hunting app for your smartphone. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Analogix, protect your deer herd with the power of science. Winchester, the American legend. Sure Shot Jewelry, check out the Melissa Bachman collection today and Boss Buck for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. So here we are back in the Nebraska Sandhills, but this time I've got archery gear. Now this is a place I've hunted year after year for rifle hunting, all for big muleys, and this time we're doing it all spot and stock. Oh, we've been coming out here looking for this wide buck. We didn't think we could find him. And suddenly we spotted him just coming from the bottom, going up in the hills right now. He's there with a couple of does. Looks like he's heading back that way into the hills, so that'll be awesome. That way we can see exactly where he's going to go, where he's going to bed. I'm not sure if he's going to stick with those does, or better yet, he'll leave them and go bed by himself. So I'm just happy we found him again, and maybe we can make a game plan. Now we've had a couple of close calls. In fact, we've gotten super close on a couple of bucks, but just couldn't bring it together. But now the time is winding down, and we had a big wide mule deer that we've had several close calls with, but never could get it done. So today, our number one goal was just to go after that wide buck. We're running out of time. This is our last option. We need to make it work. This morning we spotted that big wide buck and we watched him all the way to when he bedded down. We're just gonna give it a try. We're gonna try to get in as close as possible, see his antler tips, that way when he makes a move, we can know what he's doing. But um, it might be a long sit, it's still morning. We've got all day, but we're gonna try to keep the time on our side, get in there and make a plan. Where they're bedded, the wind is just not quite what we need. Well, we had two options. We could, we could wait him out until this evening when he was headed to the field, which could have been four hours. It could have been eight hours. We didn't know. We found him this morning. So we decided that our best chance would be to make a loop on him, and we were, were going to cross the wind a little bit. We knew it was going to be a little longer shot, but it, it was worth a shot because it, it seemed like our best option at the time with the number of deer that were in the bowl. We figured it was probably going to be 60, 70 yards if everything went perfect. This was our only chance, and I decided we're going to go after him, we're going to get aggressive, we're going to try to make it work. And we finally get there and not a single buck has noticed. I couldn't even believe it. Our plan was working out. The wind was just 
just enough of an angle that it wasn't blowing right to them. And as we're getting situated, that little buck on top spots us, stands up, and then all the bucks stand. I get to full draw and it is a long shot. We're talking 70 yards. I shoot and as I shoot, everything was on alert. And I think what happened is it just heard me shoot and he was out of there before my arrow could even get there. It's one of those things. We had worked so hard all week. We made a plan, we made it work. We got aggressive on the last day. We got it all the way down to 70 yards and this deer was already gone before my shot. Nothing you can do, but it really was an incredible trip. I had so much fun. We joked around nonstop. We put in a lot of miles. We hunted hard, and in my book, it was a success. No, I didn't have a mule deer, but the good news is, I was coming back in a very short time. I was bringing my mom, so I knew one of us were gonna get a good buck, hopefully both of us and I might even come after this wide buck if he was still living, just to prove the point.